Friday Vinyasa Flow. We'll practice bringing a sense of curiosity and radiance with our breath to animate and bring our postures to life and also support. So support and animation through curiosity and our inner radiance. Let's start off lying down. Nice way to feel that sense of support, especially during challenging times. Place your hands on the lowest part of your belly as you drop down through your breath into this vessel, your physical being, accepting the support of the ground. And suggesting today, allowing this practice to be a practice of revealing your inner radiance no matter how challenging the situation may be, no matter how messy your middle is right now. I'll use this practice with the breath to clear away, wipe away the schmutz that keeps us from recognizing and acknowledging our inner light. And that light being curiosity today. Curiosity and playfulness. So breathing that light of curiosity, that light of awareness to the physical perimeters of your being. Your three dimensional being. Keeping your light in mind, in your intentions and in your body. Let's take our fingertips to our sternum, our sternum bones, starting right in between the clavicles. Either you can have fingertips both sets next to each other or one on top and one on the bottom as you begin to massage all the way down to the bottom of your sternum bone, your xiphoid process. You could even think of this as a way of clearing away the schmutz, the cobwebs that keeps you from receiving and accommodating the fullness of your rest, of your inner radiance. Okay, gently massaging here, all the way up. See your collarbones in between and all the way down. And as you make your way on down, we'll rest the fingertips side by side, just below the sternum bone, just below the sternum process or rather the xiphoid process. Let the shoulders relax. Fingertips rest there, and now breathe the fullness of your breath. Not forceful, fullness of your breath into all sides of your body, but especially where your fingertips are. And as you exhale, allow the fingertips to soften towards your spine. Not pressing, softening. We're using this sense of touch to bring a sense of curiosity and awareness to areas in which we can radiate, in which we could breathe more into. So we are fully supported and lit up from the inside out. Nice, and now take your hands to the sides of your ribs. You can give yourself a big hug if you want, crossing the forearms. And having opposite hand, opposite side of your ribs, giving yourself a loving hug as you use your hands to breathe your ribs, expanding the ribs, the spaces in between. And each exhale is a deeper settling into yourself, a deeper self-recognition. of your life force, of your breath. One more. Slowly releasing your hands and place them now to the back of your ribs, breathing fully there. Shedding and spreading lift to the back body, an area that can represent community, support, universe, whatever that means to you, friends, family, Two more, back of the waist. 
Slowly releasing your arms by your sides, palms facing up, softness in your palms, softness in your face. Noticing any shifts or changes. Windshield wiper your, uh, your legs, your knees, side to side. So today, throughout our movement, we'll allow our breath to radiate, to support, if we shine the light of curiosity, three-dimensionally in our shapes, in our dance, in our movement. Meeting with the knees, knees to the right. Slide your right arm in line with your right shoulder and lift your left arm straight up to the sky. Squeeze your left arm towards straight and reach your left fingertips to the sky, left shoulder blade lift, and then lower. Lift and lower, freeing our wings. Now the back body. One more. Good, let's meet with the left shoulder blade lifting up. And reach it now past your right fingertips. The head might lift and the upper body turn. Keep reaching and bringing the shoulder blades back. Two more, like that. And now a big floppy circle around. Keep your knees to the right. Look at your left fingertips. Curl the left fingertips in. Bend your left elbow and take your left hand across your chest, like touching your skin. Reach past the right fingertips and the big fluffy circle around. Two more like that own breath. Eyeballs, follow your left fingertips as they reach past the right fingertips and then a big fluffy circle around. One more. Reaching past the right fingertips. Big fluffy circle. Breathe. And bring your knees to center, switching sides and knees to the left. Right fingertips to the sky. Squeeze right arm straight, reach the right shoulder blade up, and lower. Four more times, own breath. We're doing some prep work. We're tapping into our subtle movement, and then our subtle strength to support the bigger movement. Press in the joint. Bring awareness, shining the light of awareness. To the areas that might not have had much attention in a while. Good. And then reaching, right fingertips past, like you're sliding past your left fingertips, and then back. Two more times like that. Reach past and back. One more. Let's add that big floppy circle around, resting your gaze to your right fingertips. Curl the right fingertips and bend the right elbow, slide across your chest, and reach past. Big floppy circle. Two more times. Curl it in. Reaching past. Big floppy circle. One more. Kind of lost count. Like keep on big floppy circles as much as you like. Bring your knees to center. Slide your arms closer by your sides. Bring your feet inner hip width distance apart. Palms facing down, lift your hips, reach your arms overhead, and exhale, lower down. Breath, radiant breath, supporting the movement and the shape. Two more like that. Rhythm of your own breath. Uh, slowly make your way to center. Right ankle over your left thigh bone and hug your left knee in towards your left shoulder. We'll rock side to side. Hang out where it's most curious and interesting. Relax the shoulders and soften the base of your neck and your skull. Slowly releasing, switching sides, left ankle over right thigh bone. And bring it in. Relaxing your face and shoulders. Little rock, rock side to side. And slowly releasing. Bringing it to center, right knee in, interlace your fingers behind your right side. And as you do that, point your foot and straighten your right leg, press your thigh bone away from you into your hand. Now flex the foot and hug your right knee in and drop the right heel towards your bottom. Two more times, point 
and flex. One more point and flex. Let's meet pointing again, straighten the leg, and now circle your ankle around three times each direction. Three times each direction. And slowly releasing, bending the knee and switching sides, left knee in, point and straighten and flex and bend. Two more like that. And one more. Let's meet at the top again and circle your ankle around three times each stretch. Relax the face again. Maintaining a soft face throughout practice today. Slowly releasing Hug both knees into your chest. Let's rock and roll forward and back five to six times. We can run out hands. We can pack the ground. I am here each time. You touch the ground with your hands. You made it. Strength and enthusiasm. You show up for yourself on the mat today. And we'll meet hands and knees, however you want to get there. We press our wrists. Flip the fingertips out the sides of the mat or for your knees. Shorten the distance between your hands and your knees for less intensity. Circle your entire body around to the right as you bring the hips back up the heels and the hands lift a little. Circle to the left, heels the hands to the ground. Three times total, each direction. The entire body, so it's not just the hips, you're floating body forward, hands being an expression of our inner radiance, reaching fingertips forward once you're centered, flip out to the back of the hand, again, shorten the distance if you need, shoulders from the ears, and make fists open and close, both sides at the same time. Right, allowing our expression our inner light be revealed through the movement and work of our hands. Slowly releasing your hands, peel them away, standing on your knees. And let's circle the scapula. We'll first start off by bringing the scapula apart and then together. Now you can stay standing on your knees or lower your hips to your heels. Moving from the shoulder blades, so it's just a mic. Let's add some circular movement, add circles. So shoulder blades forward, that's protraction. Elevate, retract shoulder blades together and lower down your back. Two more in this direction. Up, shoulder blades together, let the ribs soften in. And reverse forward, down, back, up, forward, down, back, up one more time. Grace and awkward on this one for me. And then slowly releasing. Let's meet. Hands and knees, all four. Bend the elbows to the sides. And as if you're scooping ice cream, two scoops in towards each other with your elbows. Scoop them in, and then from there, straighten the arms. From there, extend your right leg back, belly and ribs in, and then the left, we meet in plank, and we breathe our radiance to the physical perimeters of our being. We're supported by our breath for three, two, and one, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Move in any way that feels more like you, maybe spinning the heels to one direction. Good, downward facing dog, lift the heels. Bend the knees, reach your pelvic floor to the sky, and from the base of your heart, press down through your hands. And then keep that length in your legs a little or a lot, pressing the hands down and forward and lengthen the neck. Two more times like that. Inhale, filling up all sides of your body. And exhale, expanding and radiating outward. One more time, lift the heels. Expand and exhale. Reach and extend. Walk your hands to the back. To your feet, bend your knees a lot, belly to thighs, 
Let it go. Bend your knees so much, belly to thighs. Accepting support, unloading the spine, releasing your head, shaking out the head, yes and no. Now interlace your fingers behind your back. Take your thumbs to your sacrum, bending the elbow slightly, roll the collarbones open, shoulder blades onto your back, and then from there you can pull your hands energetically apart, lift the thumbs a little bit. Rod into the chest, maintain that brightness to the chest and begin to extend the arms a little or a lot. Let the contents of your brain drip, drip, drip down to the mat. Slowly release your hands. Roll it on up, press to the feet. One vertebrae at a time, belly flies in and up. Once you're at the top, circle. Three shoulder circles. And let's meet by walking to the top of the mat. Let's walk to the top, feet hip width distance apart. Finding the four corners of your feet, surrender your fingertips to the sky, or rather to the ground, <laughs> or get to the sky soon. So reach and extend through the heels, toning the underside of your glutes and then inner body nice and bright. Lift the palms outward. You're revealing the light, all sides of the heart, even the back, so there's a broadening in between your shoulder blades. Reach up. And now bend the knees and allow that to go. Let the arms swing. So it looks like this. One arm swings in front of the other. We're bringing a sense of buoyancy in the lower body, a sense of bright buoyancy, bouncing back and a swinging, a letting go of the inner shoulders from the base of the neck through the fingertips as the arms reach up and down. So the arms reach up as an extension, a momentum from the legs. Let's do one more. Let's meet with the arms up top, interlace your fingers, and lean on over to your right. Press through your left foot. Breathe into the spaces in between your ribs for three, Two, one, come on up. And now to the left. Pressing through your right foot. Come on up, release the hands, maybe a little gaze upward. Exhale, hands through your heart. Hinge at your hips and folding forward. Halfway lift, whatever variation you like. Lengthen through your spine. And as you exhale, hands on the ground, Step back into plank pose. Inhale, bright, full breath. Exhale, lower down. That could be knees and then hips and then chest all the way down. And then bring your fingertips out wide. Forehead to the ground. Press the tops of the feet down, pubic bone down. Belly and ribs soften away from the ground. Lengthen the sides of your body. So you're lifting up your armpits, shoulder blades onto your back. And then your next inhale, roll it on up into a fingertip cobra, and as you exhale, roll it down. Two more times, on breath. And one more. And lower down. Slide your hands closer in, make your way downward facing dog. Hips up and back. Two times, lifting your heels, bending your knees, press the hands away, and exhale, lengthening outward. One more, inhale, bend the knees, and exhale. Lift heels, bend knees, and on your exhale, step hop or float to the top. Halfway lift, folding forward, root down, rise up three times, bouncy swinging arms, three, reach up, Two, and one at the top, interlace fingers, spill it over to the right. Come back up, inhale, and spill it to the left. Right back on up, separate hands through the heart, hands together, and fold. Halfway lift, inhale, and exhale, blink, stepping it back. Breathing here. On your next exhale, lowering it down. And this time, locust pose, forehead down. Reach your fingertips back, arms by your sides. And first press the pubic bone down, 
lengthen the sides of the body. Lift, rather than lift, I said lift, I know. First, lengthen everything away from the ground. Less is more here. So think more of lengthening the spine rather than lifting away from the ground. Allow the inner radiance of your breath to support you. Sending that sense of radiance and support of your breath, again, to the physical perimeters of your physical being. One more full cycle of breath. Releasing, downward facing dog, we meet. Two times, lifting the heels, bend the knees, pelvic floor to the sky, press the hands down, exhale, expand. One more. Lift the heels, bend the knees, and your next exhale, you step, hop, or float to the top. Halfway lift, press the ground away, get buoyant, and exhale, fold. Root down, rise up. Three bouncy chairs, we arms. Two. And one. Meet at the top. Spill it to the right. Side bending. Inhale. Press down. Lift. Spill it to the left. Root down. Rise up. Separate hands. Hands together on the exhale. Through heart center. Halfway lift. And exhale. Step back into plank. Inhale, and as you exhale, lowering down. This time, interlace the hands behind your back. Lengthen the sides of the body. On your next inhale, lift and lengthen away from the ground. Breathe in here for three. Radiant full breath. Two. One. Now keep the back body nice and awake. Only release your hands, maybe below your shoulders or somewhere more uh, friendly for you. As the top of the feet lower down, press the hands down and make your way into your cobra. Breathe here, two more full radiant breaths for three, two, and one. Slowly releasing, downward facing dog, we meet. Lifting heels, bending knees. And straightening the legs and lengthening outward. This time, moving on, lifting your heels, bending your knees, step your right foot forward. Send your back foot flat, warrior two. Heel to arch alignment. I'll switch directions so you can see. Straighten out your front leg. Triangle pose, top of the right thigh bone back, and now lower your right hand to your right shin, higher up. Flip your left palm to the front of the mat and lower left bicep over left ear. Now press from the two halves of your pelvis down to the feet, and now get more puffy, more puffy through that top side body. And begin to turn your gaze and your heart and chest more towards the ground, towards the right foot, and then the opposite, inhale. Exhale, turning to the ground, exploring here, shining your radiant and curious breath to the places and spaces you can use some extra love. One more. Warrior two, we meet to reverse warrior. Flip the right palm up, tilt back. On your next exhale, float the hands down, downward. Facing dog. Lift your heels, bend your knees, switch around again, and then left foot forward. Send your back foot flat. Warrior two. Find your feet, find your foundation, and from there, straighten out your front leg. Triangle pose, left hand, top of left shin, right arm up, flip the right palm, right bicep over right ear. Get nice and puffy through that top side body. Turn your gaze towards your inner left foot so the chest slightly turns more to the ground. And inhale, spin the chest towards the sky. Exploring, kind of feels like a side body 
brightness. That's what it feels like for me. I almost feel like it's like side body flossing. Two more, still maintaining strength in your legs and awareness of your core. Warrior two, we meet to reverse warrior. Flip your left palm up and reverse, tilt back. So shining a little bit more light on the left side body. And slowly releasing, hands down to the ground, step it back, down dog. Feel free to take a high low push up. Whatever kind of flow, rinse cycle you would like to take. You get creative, some scapular circles. Adding on. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Right foot forward, back foot flat. Right forearm to right side. And left arm up to the sky. Radiant, full breath. Reach past your right toes more towards the right corner of your mat. Walk your left foot forward, adjust your right hand as you need, half moon pose. You can keep a slight bend in that right knee, a full radiant breath. Another three, two, and one, reaching back for the landing, right into reverse warrior, inhale. And exhale, float your hands down, downward facing dog. Lift your heels, bend your knees, inhale, left foot forward, back foot flat. Right arm up, left fingertips towards the left corner of your mat. Walking your right foot forward. Oh yeah, you can bring the forearm onto the thigh in between. Half moon, reach and extend. You can have a slight bend in your left knee. Radiant full breath for three, two, and one. Reaching back for the landing. All right, reverse, tilt back, and exhale, hands down. Downward facing dog, lift your heels, bend your knees. Right foot forward, same thing, right forearm to right side. Forget that part, left arm up. Reaching diagonal, right corner, left foot walks in. Half moon, we'll add on, bend the right knee, reach back for the landing. Reverse warrior, straighten the front leg, and lift that up to center. Arms out to the side, heels and toes out. So switch directions so you can see. Let the arms play side to side, and then begin to bend the knee in which you're swinging the arms. And add a little bit more swing in the arms, and a little bounce of the legs so that opposite leg lifts up. The arm will be heavy for three. Resilient radiance. That's what I feel like here with the back of the leg. Swing the arm. Two. And one. Feet down. Arm settles to the center. <sighs> Pause and notice. And hands to your hips. Feet parallel to each other. You can widen the stance if you need. And lower all the way down. You can take your hands below your shoulders. Then inhale, bend your knees, straighten your arms, and lengthen the spine. And you can look slightly forward. And as you exhale, the opposite. Elbows bend straight back. Legs lengthen, shifting the weight slightly forward. Shoulders from here. Two more times. Bend the knees, straighten the arms, gaze slightly forward. And exhale. One more. And exhale. Halfway lift with the upper body. Walk your hands to the original front of the mat. Low lunge. Side plank variation. Right foot halfway back, about below your right hip. Left wrist slightly in front of left shoulder, right hand, right hip. Then all your toes to the right outer edge of your left foot. Radiate. Right arm up, flip the right palm forward, right bicep over right ear. And now press down, lift the bottom up even higher. Lean the back of the head, back of the heart, back for three. A shoulder blade, back of the heart, two. And one, downward facing dog. We'll do the other side. I'll switch directions. 
Lift the heels, bend the knees. Left foot steps forward, back foot flat, left forearm to left thigh, right arm up, reaching, left fingertips diagonal, half moon, dance your way, float your way, reach back for the landing, reverse warrior, tilting back, straighten out your front leg and finding your center. Again, heels in, toes out, arms begin to swing, a little lunge, side to side arm swing, or a little bit more back. Radiant, bouncing for another three. Lightness in the upper body, bouncy lower body, two, and one. Feet find the ground, arms slow their swing to center. Feet parallel, interlace your hands behind your back. Bend the elbows slightly as you bring your thumbs to your sacrum, your lower back. Lift the armpits, roll the collarbones open and then still broaden the front and the back and the sides. Pull your hands energetically apart. So you might get a little bit more opening through the collarbones. Lift the fist slightly from your bottom and from there, hinge at the hips, fold and if you begin to squeeze your arms straight, but maintain the openness through the chest. Reach the knuckles to the sky. Bring now your shoulder blades towards your hips and release your head for another three, two, and one. Hands release to the ground. Walk your hands to the original front of the mat, to the left. Left foot slides halfway back. Right hand stays down. Left hand, left hip. Spin all your toes to the left. Spin your right elbow crease to the front. Now lift your hips up, left arm up. Radiant, supportive, full breath. Left bicep over your left ear and lift the bottom hip up even higher and curl the back of the head, back of the heart, back for three, two, and one. Both hands down to the ground. Downward facing dog. Add a little push up in between if you need. And breathe. Maybe a couple of lifting the heels, bending your knees. Moving on, lift the heels, bend the knees, right foot forward, and we'll fly with our light and our breath, airplane, keep the right knee bent, lift the left leg, sweep your arms behind, towards the back of the room, full, radiant breath, full, supportive breath, slowly releasing, hands down, left foot back, down dog. And now left foot forward. Stepping into your light and your flight. Breathing into all sides of your body. Feeling the support of the breath to the back body. Inviting in, again, more sense of buoyancy and lightness. Slowly releasing. Downward facing dog. Add a little push up in between if you want. And downward facing dog, we will meet. Lifting your heels, bending your knees, and as you exhale, step up or float. Top, halfway lift, and fold forward. Root down, rise up, extended, and arms by your sides or hands to your heart. Pause and notice. Power the pause. We don't always have to plow through. All the postures all at once. It's really nice to feel the effect of all your efforts. Chair pose, bend the knees, reach your fingertips to where the ceiling and wall meets, or if it feels better for you, fingertips forward. And as you exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees as much as you need to to have your fingertips touch the ground. We're going to alternate between those shapes. We'll dance with the breath. Chair pose. Mountain pose. Standing tall. Release your arms at your sides. 
Root down, rise up, inhale. We'll make it more dancey and flowy. Chair pose. On your next exhale, fold forward. Chair on your inhale. Pause on the exhale. Stand tall on the inhale. Exhale, arms to the side. Mountain inhale. Chair, exhale. Inhale, fold forward on your exhale. Chair, inhale. Pause on the exhale. Standing tall, inhale, and arms by your side on the exhale. One more time through, inhale. Exhale, chair. Pause on the inhale. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair. Pause on the exhale. And inhale, mountain pose, and release your arms to your side. Take a giant step back with your right foot, turn to the long side of the mat. Slightly shorter stance. Bring your arms out to the sides, like a windmill variation. Bend your right knee and place your left hand on top of your right foot, reaching the right fingertips, rather the left fingertips to the right. And left shoulder over your left wrist, left arm up to the sky. And we'll dance with these shapes. Radiant full breath, inhale, press to the feet, stand back up, arms to the side, and switch directions. About two cycles of breath here. Right shoulder over right wrist, press to the legs, inhale up, own breath. Dancing between right side, twisting. And left side twisting, do not lose the connection, maintain the connection of your feet and your foundation, finding your power on the path, and maintaining connection through the feet, and accepting the radiant support of your breath. Let's do one more time each side, and we'll meet twisting to the right. Again, left shoulder over left wrist. Press to the outer edge of your left foot and then spin your chest to the side and breathe. Even though we're kind of bound here, twisted. Make sure you're leaving enough space in the shape for your radiant breath, for your inner radiance. Supportive breath, breathe. Two, one, standing tall, expand to the other side. So you're maintaining an imprint of expansiveness, an imprint of fullness, even when we are twisted. Right shoulder over right wrist, press through outer edge of right foot, bend your chest to the sky, reach up for three, bending that left knee. Two, and one, standing tall. And come all the way on up. Release your arms. Turn to your right side. We'll turn to your right side. Your right side, I'm not gonna be the mirror. You're gonna turn to your right side. So make your way into a low lunge. Pat up the left knee if you need, gather any props or blocks. Slide your right heel slightly forward. Bring your hips back for a variation of a runner's lunge. So we got a four fold here. Often not the most comfortable of postures. Can you still bow in and acknowledge your inner light? Can you allow yourself to maintain a, a shape in which you can still settle into yourself and receive the fullness the light, the buoyancy, again, bring that sense of light, light and light, like rays of sun and also buoyancy with the breath. Moving into all sides. 
Slowly releasing, bending through the front knee. Slide your right foot back, right knee down, and we'll switch sides from here. Left foot forward. And slide your left heel as far forward as you need to bring the hips back and keep that right knee, back knee below the back hip. Breathing here. Maintaining length through the spine. And a lightness of breath. And you're shining the light of your breath to the places and spaces that could use an extra dose of love today. And slowly releasing, bending that front knee, coming on to hands and knees, cross at your ankles, and make your way on to your bottom. I changed that. Make your way forward, <laughs> come on to your hands and knees, and come on to your elbows. We'll do a little sneaky core first. So first, elbows below your shoulders, bring your palms together, spread your fingers wide. And then lift your armpits slightly, melt the shoulder blades together, and then reach your right leg back, reach your left leg back and then press the ground away with your elbows in the center of your wrist for a forearm plank. And drama tends to bubble up when we forget to breathe. So invite in that supportive, radiant breath to bring a sense of buoyancy as you press the ground away so that you're not collapsing into yourself, but rather strengthening and expressing that strength and light from the inside out. Two more full, again, not forceful cycles of breath. I'll feel how much the upper body is working and ask the rest of the body. To pitch on it. Do it's just as much work, but not too much. You're not gripping. You're accepting the support of your breath for three, two, and one. Lower the knees down. Child's pose. Ah, nice. Breathing your ribs into your inner thighs, outward. Breathing into the back of your waist, back of your ribs back of your heart. Hands and knees on your next inhale. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Left knee will be slightly behind your left hip. Left hand, fingertips on the ground or a block. Turn your right toes out slightly. Look over your right shoulder. Bend your left knee. If you need to bring the hips back, do so. And reach towards your back foot with your right hand. Right thumb up. Once you make contact, you could also use the strap. Once you make contact, you can lower the hips down. Bend the right elbow slightly. Roll the right shoulder blade back of the heart. And then from there, bend your chest to the sky. And you could press your left foot into your right hand. Curl the back of the head, back of the heart, back for three, two, and one. Slowly release. Switch inside. Left foot outside of left hand. Left toes slightly out, right hand, fingertips ground or block. Look over your left shoulder, bend your right knee, reach back. Left thumb up, bend the left elbow slightly. Lift the left armpit. And then roll the left collarbone open. And then from there, press the ground away. Press the left foot back and spin your ribs and your chest to the left. Breathing. Again, the last couple postures have been pretty challenging. Don't let the challenge, the challenging shape diminish your inner light. Full supportive breath. And slowly, mindfully as you can, releasing hands and knees. Okay, now we cross at our ankles and make our way onto our bottom. 
Extend your legs forward, hands by your sides. So variation of staff pose. Press the inner thighs down, thigh bones down, and support from the pelvic floor, the lower belly, in and up, and lengthen the sides of the body. Now maintain that length, reach your arms up to the sky, inhale, and as you exhale, reaching with a long spine past your toes, and then you can allow the hands to rest for a moment, and we're gonna dance with this. And then inhale, reach the fingertips forward, long spine, radiant breath, and release your arms to your side. Let's do that three more times. Sweep the arms up, inhale, exhale. Active still through the legs, length through the spine. Inhaling up, and arms to the side. Couple more times, own breath, reaching up. Strengthen the legs. We've got some active hip flexion going on. Good, one more, and we'll have some time to marinate and breathe into that forward fold. Wherever your hands are landing, it's comfortable. Press the inner thighs down. So you're hinging at your hip creases for this one. Full radiant breathing. Allowing your pelvis to spill over your thigh bones. And slowly releasing, you can slide your hands back, hands by your sides, bend your knees so you can scoot your hips closer towards your heels, make your way onto your back, good couple rounds of flowing bridges. Press to the outline of your feet, as you lift the hips, reach the arms overhead, and as you exhale, lower down. Four more, all breath in half. And exhale. Own back. Make sure you're lifting from the area around your sitting bones rather than your ribs. Keep those ribs soft. If you want, you can even bring your hands to your ribs. Just a gentle suggestion for those ribs to maintain a sense of softness. Making sure in this dance of revealing your inner radiance that you're not over efforting, that you're not taking yourself out of the posture, shape, or situation. And then we'll meet with the knees resting in towards each other. You can have one hand to your heart, one to your belly. And taking your choice, bridge pose, any variation, or wheel. I can set up with wheel with the arms, elbows bent, robot arms to the side, fingertips to the sky, lifting the hips up. Either from here, you can interlace the hands underneath your hips, or for wheel, fingertips slightly underneath your shoulders and turning outward. Whatever variation you like to take, lift the hips a little bit higher, press the hands down, come on to the crown of your head, and then from there, lift the hips a little bit higher, and then press down with your feet and your hands. Soften the ribs in, radiant full breath. Another three, two, and one. And slowly releasing down. And again, settling. I like constructive rest pose, knees together, feet wide, hands wherever you like. A nice neutral position after back bending. Feel, feel your inner radiance. Feel your breath. Feel your life force flowing within you. And slowly roll on over to one side and make your way up to a comfortable seated position. A couple cycles of breath. Alternate nostril breathing without your hands. So finding your comfortable seat. Grabbing tissue if you need to blow your nose. Hands to rest wherever you like. Close your eyes. You can use your hands if you like right now. I'll 
So just try without your hands. So first, you'll empty out air from your lungs. Inhale through both nostrils. Only exhale to the left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Through the nose. Own breath. Alternating. Right and left side. Begin to slow the breath down. Exploring a count. Anywhere between four to six. And so slowly lengthen the out breath to eight. Keep an even count of four to six as you alternate in breath and out breath, left side, right side. And keeping your chin slightly nodding inward towards your chest. Complete two more cycles. We're completing the cycle, the last cycle, by exhaling through the left nostril. After completing the last round, breathing evenly through right side and left side, left side and right side. Natural breath, natural breathing. You can stay here and see the meditation for this last part or yogi's choice, any posture you like. Six to eight cycles of breath. I'm going to make my way onto my back. We're a happy baby. Soles of the feet to the sky. Or you could bring the soles of the feet together and let the heaviness of your hands rest your feet towards your face. Whatever you need. And we'll meet in your resting pose. Your resting pose. Give the weight of your body to the ground. Surrender, letting go. As a gesture, an acknowledgement that the non doing is just as important as the doing. That non doing is just as important. As we're doing, allow your body to melt across the floor as you soften your face with the bones of your face be heavy to the back of your skull. And breathing. Your breath is supporting you. You are allowing yourself to be breathed, no longer controlling the breath.
And you could stay here as long as you need. If not, we will end here today. Placing one hand on your heart, one on your belly. Think of one thing in your life that you are grateful for, no matter how big or small. We'll end together one cleansing breath for sensing out all the air from your lungs. Inhale, filling on up. And exhale, out of your mouth. And as always, gratitude for practicing together today. And all be a benefit to us and everybody else around us. Namaste. Have a 